guys, what's up? It's Princess Baba. Welcome back to the channel with us. So, we are making today, welcome to, cook, welcome to Cooking Magic. We are making the Ohana bread pudding from Ohana. I have not been in this restaurant, but I've had this at uh, Camu Lounge there. It, it's near Ohana. You can also find the Lapu Lapu, which is the, the uh, drink from pineapple, but it's delicious. One of probably the part, one of the best is on our property. So, uh, probably the best is our property. Let me know where you guys have you been to Ohana? Let me know in the comments below. I want to know what you what you guys like. And then also, what's your favorite dessert or property? Let me know. So we we'll start. We have a recipe right here. So this is uh, I forget what's on. This is DisneyFoodBar.com. So okay, so our recipe is we have five eggs. I uh, grabbed the wrong thing. So hopefully it comes out right. I uh, have uh, the um, egg eaters. So it comes out okay. So but uh, which I just like using whole eggs. So it says that. Three cups whole milk, a half tablespoon of salt, a half teaspoon of nut milk, cherry measured out, a half, one and a half cup of sugar, and eight eight cups of uh, French or Ohana breakfast bread, which we don't have. Eventually, I want to actually make that and use that and see how it comes out. We just don't have the time. We just don't feel like doing that. But uh, see how that comes out. You can use also for you can also use Texas toast as we're doing, or I was thinking using the. Um, the Hawaiian's wheat bread, but I would adjust the sugar on that. So let's see. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to in a bowl mix eggs, milk, salt, sugar, and nutmeg. So it's inside. Okay, so since we have egg substitutes, I didn't think of that. Well, I was trying to save us some money, but sure, if I go ahead. But I think uh, I hope it comes out okay. So, so it's three tablespoons, one, it's two, it's three, one. Two, three. Hold on. What? Flip the instructions over. Okay. Yeah. This is how the instructions. So basically, how you do the eggs. So. Okay. So you need how many eggs? You need uh five. So I'm doing it like. Well, it says with four, four, one third cup for so five do, eggs. You do that one twice. Mhm. Mm and that one once. Okay. Or you do that one once. And that one once. I'm so good. Okay. So. Well, you're trying to add up a total of five, right? Yeah. yeah. Two plus two plus one. Okay. Or so. four plus one. So I've already had like, I was at two or three. I don't remember. No. You did three twice. Okay. Okay. So how much? No. So you've done three large eggs. Yeah. So you got our eggs. How many was this we put in there? I forget now. What? Three tablespoons equals one egg. Okay. So times five. Times five. Okay. So can't do math in my head. Three tablespoons of milk. Three uh, cups of milk. Okay. Okay. It's one. This hope is gonna be good. Yay. How many guys have you know we try this to be at home? So please let me know in the comments. I appreciate that. Much of milk. Yeah. Okay. Cup of salt. We got our our eggs. And I forgot how much. We got our three cups of milk and a half tablespoon of salt. Okay. 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 So just keep holding that for oh, twisting. Yeah. Twist back and forth. Don't let go. Just okay. keep going back and forth. Alright, I don't want it to be too salty. There. It's basic, so it's basically like a custard. You make it pretty much. So you got your nutmeg. Okay, have a teaspoon of nutmeg. Don't put too much nutmeg; it'd be not good. So nutmeg is very strong. Okay, so with sugar. This is already pre-measured out. You have a half, one and a half cup of sugar in here. There we go. This is gonna be good. Yay! Yeah, Mahoney isn't probably one of my favorite. My favorite. Uh, Resorts at Disney. What's your guys' favorites? Are from Let me know in the comments below. I like to, I like to interact with you guys. I think that's really fun doing that. The Ohana. Like, like, I like to know what people actually like too. So, okay. Okay. So we got our bread. Um, I probably kind of too small, but it should be okay. 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 Yeah. So that's done. Is that? So you bake this about 15 minutes. So, I've never read this recipe before, so I have no idea what I'm doing. So, yeah. Okay, should be good. You're gonna need more than one. Huh? Yeah. And you probably should have used the foil. Yeah, I probably should have. 
Yeah, you don't want to bake it too long, otherwise you'll have burnt bread. Mmm, yuck. I hope it comes out okay. I've cut it too small. Oops. So don't so do what I do. All on the one plate. Yeah, you don't want to overcrowd it too much. There you go. Put it in there. Huh? Could you just put the tray in there? Move yeah. The way. Yes. No, put the tray in there. Put this. Move it out of the way. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah. I'm not thinking this morning, so I'm tired, guys. Pregnancy brain, so. Right. I missed, but <laughs> got it done fast. <laughs> you find me, so, okay. Not to be wrong, to be too wrong. All right. Okay, so we're back. So we put this in the oven for 15 minutes. You want to slide the gold brown. You don't want to leave it in the oven too long. Because funny, actually not funny story. When I was in culinary school, I was making croutons. I left them in the oven too long and they brown. I'm like, oh no. So you're gonna put that, do that. You're gonna take your bread. Be careful, this is very hot. Over yourself. You put it in your mixture. You move that. Get our bowl. Oh, she greased that, right? And that's more of a mess here to clean up. Okay, so we got our bread. It's cooked. So that we're gonna put it in our we greased our pan, so we're putting it in our bag mixture. You can do it like this. You take your bread. Make sure you soak it. You don't want to soak it too much, just a little bit. I've uh, never uh Gimby, what are you doing? Huh? <laughs> yeah. I hope you're not going to do that. It's every single Yeah, it's kind of hard to do that one. It's probably like... Here's a little pot. Mm -hmm. You take a decent handful of them, put them in there, then use the big spoon. Or, oh, that's a good idea. Or you were supposed to use the ladle, that, or the the spoon that has the holes in it, and you're dripping. Oh, that's yeah, that's a good idea, Ryan. Uh huh. Gimba, what are you doing? Huh? Gimba, everything that the light touches. No, wait, the sight touches. Right. It's yours to capture. Okay. Okay. I'll take it like that. My hands clean. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, before you start anything, wash your hands, please. You don't want to get people sick. Not good. We got our put our bread in there and that so we're gonna put our, our this over that okay all right liquid mixture yay i didn't grab a 10 inch pan i should have done that but uh i don't know how this is going to come hopefully it comes out good so we're going to do ryan suggests putting elevated to do it before we saw that liquid so that's good so we'll right. just use a cookie sheet yeah. to slightly elevate this yeah, so to, the, yeah. to do that yeah yeah, yeah. should work Hopefully. In theory. I hope it's coming Otherwise, up, but... we're just going to have a bunch of excess just That's floating just, about. Yeah, yeah, no. Any so, moose. Yeah, my, um, when uh, somebody made this, they used a uh, spring form pan. Don't do that because it ran off the bottom. I'm like, you want all the liquid in there. Hopefully, it's okay. There we go. Okay. So, we put this in the oven. We got the oven. We're going to elevate it like that. So, hopefully, it's going to come up fine. I just wish I got the cake pan. I'm like, why didn't I not do that? So, but hopefully this comes out okay. So I'll put this in the oven. We'll see you then. Okay, so we're back. We made or we got our bread pudding. So basically, it is been a it's basically been a nice foster sauce. We're not gonna fall on bed because one, I don't feel like burning in the kitchen, and two, Sean's a bit really mad at me at that. So I don't feel comfortable. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your it's oh it's uh 
this is a, this is going to be ounces. Usually, if it's going to be four ounces of sugar, four ounces of brown sugar, four ounces of corn syrup, four ounces of some salt with butter, one cup of heavy cream, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of spiced rum. But we're using we are using rum extract. And I looked online and it said like use half of what you have because this is more concentrated than the actual rum. So, but I would what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like like two maybe teaspoons and see what happens. So just it is that. And then I will I found an article online about that. I'll put that in the description below if you're using that. So it'll help you out a little bit. So and then your bananas, which we have right here, it's already cut. So four ounces is a half a cup basically. So there's two because a cup is eight. Okay. Do this for sugar. You got this on. It doesn't tell me what to put it on, but I'm assuming medium. So this is mixed together. So easier that way. If it's on it, not have to do as much dishes. Okay. That's gonna be fun to get out. Butter. Corn syrup. What I recommend you guys doing is spraying your pan with a, like a, not your pan, your uh, measuring cup with uh, like a nonstick spray. So that'd be easier. So if you made this recipe, let me know in the comments below. So, yay. Oh, I need you to probably should have done the butter first. Huh? Probably should have done the butter first. Yeah, you're probably right about that. So, I'm melt it. You're going to put half of this in there. So, half. And be careful, this is hot. That's my half. Now, how many of you kids oh, have. Careful, uh, careful. Oh. Remember, the top half of that is slightly bigger. Yeah. So, okay, with that. And you put your corn syrup. Oh boy, that's going to be fun to get out. So, you got our. We got measured our, our corn syrup. Like, what do you with, like corn syrup for this? So. No, don't just. Hold on. Okay. You got to let it drip out. Let me get my spatula. So. I'm going to take a look at that. This would be easier with that. So. Keep it tipped. No. Let gravity work with mm -hmm. you or for you. <laughs> and don't whip it out because you're going to be just strung yourself. Yeah. So, okay. Is it Keep your workstation clear. Don't make me go oh, cool. Like, cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love ratatouille. We watched that the other night. I love that movie. Okay. A heavy cream. Bring to a boil. Better start mixing it. No. Sorry. You're gonna got, it's going to start thickening and or burning to the pan. Not good. And we have a mess. You know, you know, I tried to make caramel one time and I burned my pan. So basically I can't use it. I'm like, yeah, don't do that. So you want to try to make caramel. This banana foster. This is kind of like what we did with the banana bread waffles. If you guys haven't seen the video, I'll leave them in the description below. We're all going to come. So my meth, but the lovely Matthew Gregor, whose birthday was last week, actually. So. Happy belated birthday, Matthew. You're lovely. He loves Disney too, so. And person who loves Disney is family, Ohana. That's what Ohana means, family. So. Ohana means family. Family means that nobody gets left behind and forgotten. And you guys, you guys are, I don't like to call you guys subscribers. You guys are my friends. You guys are family. So thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Because I know there's other stuff you can be doing, but thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. You're right, you much appreciate it. Okay, so you bring this to a boil, so, okay. Now I'll be back in this field once it's done. Okay, so we got this spring to it. You want to bring this to a boil, but it's on like medium, like medium low, so. And that, and show you're going to add, this is a boil, so you want to add your, be careful, this is very, guys, this is really hot. Papa, don't do this, this is not for kids, because it would get burnt. This gets on your skin, there it is, burn your skin, ouch. So. You'll be going to the ER basically. Do it slowly. I slow. So you're basically making a caramel pretty much. I wonder if this slide is going to start bubbling. There we go. Alright. Workstation clear. Oh, yeah. Don't make me go call that on you. <laughs> what? Oh, that's hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Mm. I'm a goofball, aren't I? Don't answer that. So, okay. Many of you keep so basically. I think this is gonna be different because we're not gonna flambe it. I don't feel comfortable doing that. So. 
Yeah. You want to know a little secret about stirring candy? What's that? When it's in liquid form, mm -hmm. that depending on the speed that you're mixing it, you're cooling it faster. Oh, I didn't know that. So if you need it to not cool down too fast, mix slower. How do you know all this stuff, Ryan? Because of thermodynamics. Okay. It's just how things work. Okay. The more you the more you move the hot surface to the top, or the hot liquid to the top surface, it dissipates the heat. So if you're moving it fast. Okay, so what you want to do, we are you, you want to add your rum. We are not plumbing, we're using rum extract. Like I said, we're probably, I'm going to put two teaspoons in here and see what happens. So you want to do it half. Like I said, we got our own screen below. You can do that. Do it over. Yeah, that'd be smart. As this stuff is, I know I don't drink, so I wouldn't know. Plus, I can with the big, oh, yeah. Slow down and wait for, it, wait for it to food. calm down. Go. You don't want to anger it too much. <laughs> anger. Angry candy is not fun candy. <laughs> you want anger from inside out. Oof. Yeah, it's strong. <laughs> it smell, you know what it smells like? Eggnog, kind of. Where's bit. all the rum gone? <laughs> Jack Sparrow. Mm. And not really much of a pirate's person. That one okay, so. Yeah, I'm more of Haunted Mansion than pirates. So, which I saw the trail. looks really good. Okay, so. So candy will brown slightly. So spice from my fall by. The candy will brown slightly. Cook three minutes until candy forms into a firm ball and cover with water. Remove from heat and add vanilla to the slice banana. So three minutes. Set timer three minutes. Yeah. Let it do its thing. I think you made a steady boil. I'm suggesting. I don't want to burn it. it Smells good. It smells really good. Three minutes. Put this out. It's a little dry on the top. It should be okay. I have played it. We got the ice cream on it. Yum. That's gonna be good. I'm excited to try this. I haven't had this in a long time, so it's probably this is what this is one of the best of our property. This is the part where I cue the elevator music, right? <laughs> yeah, you're funny. <laughs> do do do. Oh, that's Jeopardy. Oh. Do 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 do. <laughs> I'm being silly, sorry. As I'm a goofball. Yeah, they've been kicking a lot, so. Okay, gonna hit the fast forward button on this. burnt a little bit but it still looks good so nice you're good on the uh, trick with that okay all right I think it's done yeah let me get a glass of water come on yeah mm -hmm. keep it so warm so you add your bananas, there we go. There's your vanilla. Yep. And then vanilla. It's like a caramel pretty much. So probably cook it longer. I don't know. I don't want it to cook it. It's going to reduce too much. I don't want that. Well, it's not like we're trying to make this for 50 people. No. So. Uh, I don't want it to. Okay, so we got it. We kind of cooked it till we got like that stage, but you know, I don't want to keep cooking it longer. We don't have, we won't have sauce. So we have our bananas. You add these. They still cup. So I just like that. We have bananas in. It's basically like a banana caramel, pretty much. So. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, I think that's good enough. Uh, that's like a syrup, pretty much now. Okay, so we're gonna put this. Okay. Okay, so we got our bread pudding. I think we should make the mistake on the pan. I'm not happy about that, but it should be okay. It should be so good, so. so. Is it? So it's a little dried out. So it's not how it's supposed to be. Who oh, no. Okay, so this here. It's a little 
it up. Yeah. Just push it right here. Yeah, that's good. This is gonna make a lot. It's too hard. Okay. I hope this is good. But still, I got some, uh, so it's not all dried out. It's good. Okay, so we we'll take our ice cream. Okay, okay, okay. It's a little hard. Yeah. I need an ice cream scoop is what we need, so easier with that. Well, your other problem is instead of pushing this, use it like a shovel. You actually push the edge into it. This. What you're trying to do is scrape the surface. But. See? Oh. oh, yeah, that is the easy area. Also, you put it in a proper freezer. Yeah, yeah, it's going to harden more. Well, it's also a proper freezer that's, you know, set a little colder to keep things frozen better. Yeah. The mini fridges don't do that. They just have a, it's not way a freezer you said, what was it? I remember what you said it was. The other one. Okay. Put that there. Okay, put the sauce over it. This looks good. It smells good too. Yum. Yum. Some rice cream on there. There we go. Yep. Hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you for watching the channel. Appreciate that. Okay, take a bite and see what it says. So, let's see. I draw the truth. All right, Disney. So, let's see. All right, got it? Oh man, well, that is amazing. Like I said, one of the best, this is one of the best desserts on property. So I hope you guys make this for your family. If you haven't had it, you should definitely try this at home. But this has been a fun episode, guys. It's been kind of frustrating, but thank you for joining me. Take, as always, have a magical day. Take care. Be self making your And remember, as Matthew Gregor said, yourself, that person's very special. Bye, guys. Love you. Take care. See you later. Bye, Ohana. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what do you think, Brian? Good? <laughs> no! <laughs> You're fun. Run around the door of it. <laughs> Bye, friends. Love you.